Hello Dubspot! Matt Saletti back with another tutorial for you guys. This one I want to show you is a great trick to use a machine and tractor together to get your own machine patterns and loops right into your tractor sets for when you're DJing. So with Tractor 2, the addition of these sample decks, one of my favorite things is now you can kind of remix on the fly. You can grab certain sections and bring in loops differently how you want. So I found myself as a producer wanting to actually put my own loops in there. And uh, as a DJ, I don't want to be using, you know, someone else's loops. I don't want to use canned loops. I want to use my own stuff. So basically, I can go in, and I'm going to show you how that machine tractor open at the same time, basically drag and drop your patterns right in, synced up perfectly, really quick and easy. So as a DJ, it's one of these little cool things you can do to kind of add a new flair to what you're doing. So check this out. All right, so here is the setup. Basically, all we've done is open up tractor and machine at the same time. And I have them just both loaded up. And the great thing about this is we don't have to go through any crazy setup where we're trying to MIDI sync or send external clock to anything. This is gonna be just have them both open running from the same audio interface. Uh, I'm using the Tractor Control S4 in this case. Um, and then basically, we're just gonna sync them up together manually. So first thing we have to do is load something into machine. So what I've done is I've actually loaded in uh, one of these kits from the new uh, transistor transistor punch. This is one of the uh, machine expansion packs that's available. And then I have tractor open at the same time. So we're going to load in a song I like. Um, this Book of Shade song is something I often play, and this is what I actually want to record extra patterns to so I can kind of remix it. So we'll load that up. Turn up the volume. And so I can jump around the track. And the easiest way to do this is to find a breakdown area. So something like this or something real quiet like here. So what we're going to do is loop this. All right. And so if you check right here, we know the tempo is 125. So now we're just going to come over to machine. And with the machine controller, I'm going to bump up the tempo to 125. And we will turn on the metronome. And we can just kind of sync it up. And we're pretty much on sync. So we can start recording. I'm just going to hit record. my metronome off now. see how we like it it's real nice what I'm gonna do here is actually duplicate this now I just hold pattern and hit duplicate on machine and now I have two patterns and we're gonna add a uh, shaker here it's a little loud so let's turn that guy down Duplicate it again and add some other stuff. Let's just make one more pattern where we just have the basic four on the floor sound. So we always need one of those. Turn my metronome back on. All right. So all I'm gonna do is, you know, we can actually just keep that playing. The great part about machine is that you can actually just come in here and render these patterns in real time. So all I'm gonna do is hold on this little handle, right? Now you can see we're ready to drag and drop anywhere. I can do it in machine or I can do it to the desktop or I can come right into one of the sample decks, throw it right in. So let's see how that links up. Very nice. I want to 
things you want to make sure to do is when you pull these in, they're going to come in as a one shot. So always turn the loop by just clicking this function right here. All right, so let's go back in the machine. Now let's just grab the other patterns. just how easy it is to actually line these up like that now the great thing too is say you want to get something crazy and let's go over the machine here and we'll add pattern two maybe you want to get nuts and add some effects on top we'll add the rezo chord and so now even if there's effect i can still take it in going to drag it in with the effect now so let's turn off machine let's uh kick on the tracking and let's go so just a hint you know this is a great way to actually come in here and as a producer i always like to make my own i don't want to use someone's pre-can loops or anything like that and uh really the great part with tractor is that Anytime you make something in a sample deck or put something in a sample deck, this is stored pretty much until you would decide to delete it. So everything we just did, all my little samples are right here, ready to go the next time I actually want to track these out, use them in a set next week or something like that. So really great trip. Uh, you don't have to go into crazy routing or anything. Just open up both programs and uh, start, you know, kind of customizing your own tractor setup. So. Hope you like this and uh, go make some loops, all right? Peace. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.